When Sergio Marchione set out to sell 50,000 Fiat 500Cs in 2011, he didn't expect to run into reality. And that is America. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. If you love motorsports, check us out at www.motorsportsunplugged.com for the latest opinion and editorial. The Fiat 500C is a cool little car. The part that might be at the core of its poor initial sales in the U.S. is that there are plenty of people out there, me included, who remember the horror stories connected with the Fiat brand in the U.S. Poor dealer networks, poor service and bad quality control. Perceptions like that don't just go gently into that good night here in America. Many's been embraced here like the long lost girlfriend that you hook up with a few years later. It was and still is a cult car and they had 10 years under BMW's brand to establish themselves here. By the way, if you like what we bring you, then please favor us or subscribe. Now, on with the story. Fiat overestimated its reception. By Marchione's own reflection, he said, quote, we set ourselves up for a fall. Well, timing is everything. No, the cool little car didn't sell what they expected. But that doesn't mean it won't. Like anything else, it takes time and a very carefully crafted campaign to win over a skeptic American public. The United States are ready for small cars that have character and can handle. The Mini has got to be the benchmark for that. Fiat has the one offering in this 500C and the Abarth. Now word is that it'll be coming to Geneva as a wagon. That's another model to choose from. Mini has about eight models to offer and in America, the buyers want choice. Fiat's going to answer it, but Mini sold 46,000 units in 2011 and Fiat sold 20,000. Fiat has to look at how Mini did this. Mini didn't just show up with a plug-in light socket car. They did it with a fast, great handling car that could be had in different iterations. The John Cooper Works car comes to mind. Fiat has a Barth, but it needs to punch out a little more horsepower and to deliver on the wagon concept for more room and a little style. Keep these 500 C's in the Abarth model honest. More horsepower and handling. No hybrids. For God's sake, why do you need a hybrid in this class? And take time to woo the American public back towards a great brand. But one that has had its proverbial ass kicked in the past. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. I'll see you next time.